Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AskTop.net, sponsored by MentorMilitary.com. I'm your host, Command Sergeant Major Retired Mark Garrett. Today we're going to discuss corrective training as it applies to physical exercise and smoke sessions. Here are the references as they apply to corrective training, but today we're going to focus on AR 600-20 and FM 7-22 as they specifically relate to exercise. So today we're going to figure out how to properly integrate exercise into corrective training and identify smoke sessions. There are several names for corrective training as we discussed in part one of this series. If you notice extra duty is not on this slide, that's because extra duty is considered punishment under the UCMJ and is not corrective training. What is the authority for exercise? As we discussed previously, 600-20 and 7-22 give us the authority to use physical exercise for corrective training. What does improper execution look like? Well, paragraph 5-15 of 722 says, when we implement exercise as corrective training, typically we perform it incorrectly. We have overtraining syndrome and overuse injuries, and they tend to resemble smoke sessions. So what we want to do is properly implement physical exercise as corrective training and properly motivate our soldiers. So what are the rules for implementation? In accordance with 7-22, there are only eight authorized exercises. They are the rower, squat bender, windmill, prone row, push-up, V-up, leg tuck and twist, supine bicycle, swimmer, and eight-count push-up. Now, there's also one additional rule. The number of repetitions should not exceed five for any one exercise. So we have eight authorized exercises, no more than five repetitions. AR 600-20 talks about bullying and hazing and goes into specifics of what is not bullying and hazing. I'd like you to look at bullet number three, administrative corrective measures, corrective training, including verbal reprimands and command authorized physical exercise. So the commander can authorize certain exercises and designate um, the ones they deem appropriate to include those in 7-22. Smoke sessions. They're designed to physically and mentally abuse someone, to smoke them. They're illegal. They're abusive. They violate regulation and doctrine. They can be determined to be hazing, abusive subordinates, bullying, or other charges under the UCMJ. You're responsible for the health and welfare of your subordinates and their safety. You can be charged under the UCMJ for violating the safety or injuring um, or abusing your subordinates. Now, what does a smoke session look like? Excessive exercise, excessive repetitions, exercises not on the approved list, belittling a soldier while they're performing the exercise. So it's important to ask yourself one question when you're considering exercise and corrective training. If a disinterested, reasonable person walked by, would they see you performing a smoke session or corrective training? If they think that you are performing corrective training, odds are you're probably good. So in summary, we have two regulations or doctrine that tells us what to do with physical, or physical exercise. Only eight approved exercises, five repetitions, smoke sessions are illegal, and if a soldier is injured during corrective training, you could be held accountable. And if the command has not authorized the exercise, don't use it. Now, this concludes our class for today, and if you have other classes that you'd like to see us present on AskTop, please contact us at asktop.net and let us know. Look forward to talking to you in the future.